Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created these DIY plastic bag dispensers to organize your grocery bags in a style with these rustic looking wooden wine boxes. They are perfect space savers if you hang them. Just roll up your bags and stuff them from the top and get them by lifting up the door when you need them. Let's go make these. Got these online for $18. I will leave you the link in my description. They came in two. I removed these bottleneck holders. I don't need them and I'm going to cut a hole on top and don't need these handles either. I'm using two different stains to see which one I like. This one is Minimax Dark Walnut and it's just too dark for me. I also tested Veritain Jacobine. That one is lighter. Top one is that. Then I also tested Watco Danish Oil in Dark Walnut and I like this one the most. I'm going to go with this. Do you see the wood panel in the back? That's actually my favorite but I couldn't get that color unfortunately so I'm just going to settle with Danish Oil. I used 2.5 inch diameter saw blade to cut the holes. This is a very simple step but you do need a drill. Don't forget to sand the cutout area and please don't forget to hit the like button for me. I really appreciate that. I decided to put a second coat of Danish oil which is not necessary and wiped off the excess so it won't get sticky. I have several stencils already. I'm going to use these and decorate the boxes. Letters and numbers are not the same style but that's okay. I have a black chalk paint here and a chalk paint brush which has natural bristle which will give me more streaky look than solid look. I'm going to write vertically and I just eyeball the center and checked with a ruler. You can draw a guideline with a pencil slightly if you like but I always get lazy with those kind of stuff. I just go ahead and do it. Now dab your brush into the paint lightly, don't just dip it in and sweep across the stencil with your brush. That way the paint will look like it's been aged and worn down which will give you a rustic look. Just like this. Repeat the process and write anything you like. Mine will say EST21. And that's the sideways, also I'm going to write in the front. Other side is not visible, so I'm not gonna write anything on the left side, so writing will be only on the right side and the front. It would have been so much nicer if numbers had the same character as the letters. In the front, it's gonna say hashtag bags. Now for the other box I'm going to use this stencil which I used on my fridge when I painted in navy which turned out very cute by the way. Because this stencil is too big I decided to wrap it around and have half of it painted on one side and the other half on the other side. Again slight dabs and light brush strokes across the template. I've done many improvements in my kitchen. I'm leaving you a link to that playlist above if you are interested in watching them. It looks really cute. What do you think guys? But looks a little empty on this side. I think I will add some, some of the designs on the empty spots. I also want to give it a little aged look so I'm gonna use a little bit of black paint around the edges and little touches here and there. I put some water in chalk paint to dilute it because I was getting too much of a black paint so this was much better. Here they are! What do you guys think? Clean look or aged look? Time to install these cuties. First I pre-drill the boxes. Then I mark the spots on the door and drill them through all the way. This is a hollow door in the middle so I use 2 inch long screws. They were a little too long but I can always cut them. 
I also used washers on both ends and a knot to secure it on the other side of the door and it's all done such a great way to save space and organize right I may even put little hooks on the side to hang things like keys or rubber bands I am very much pleased with the result I hope you guys like them too maybe you can think of different ways to utilize these boxes well thank you for watching and i will see you soon bye